I want to actually go to the help file here. At the very top in the menu, you have help and the Bioworks help contents. There are a number of things here that I want you to see at this point. Uh, notice here the book name abbreviations and the Bible version abbreviations. Now, especially if you're new to the program, you're getting used to the abbreviations. Uh, it's going to be important here to, to see the Bible version abbreviations. But here, for example, Greek New Testament. Uh, here you have all these different versions and a description of what they are. It's like you're going to have the, the uh, Nestle 28th edition is one. You're going to have uh, the Robinson um, um, uh, Byzantine text. You're going to have uh, uh, Scribner's uh, Textual Receptus. So you have lots of different ones in here. So you can see the abbreviations for these. Wow. So there's lots of different ones in here. Westcott and Hort and uh, different ones like that. Tischendorf. Uh, so, so those are the abbreviations that you're going to need for those. Uh, same with the manuscripts, number of manuscript images, and a variety of other texts in here, Greek texts. So here's your Philo and your Josephus and your Apostolic Fathers and things like that. Uh, Hebrew Old Testament texts, we have a variety of those as well. And then the other Hebrew texts, because uh, the Targums are also included in here. Uh, the Leiden Peshitta is also included. So those, all those abbreviations, you're probably not going to know all of those. But to guarantee you're not going to know all of those. So, and then of course your abbreviations for all your other language versions too. So here you can go through and say, okay, I want to try and find a, a Chinese version. Well, here we go, and here's abbreviations for a number of these. So you, those are what you're going to want to enter in to, uh, on the command line. If you're going to be typing those in. Okay, now back, uh, the help file also has the uh, book name abbreviations. So here's your abbreviations for the uh, um, Hebrew Bible, the New Testament, the Apocrypha, so you can see those. Um, then you have expansions of the Apocryphal books. So we don't, typically Protestants don't typically know the Apocryphal books very well, what the contents are, so we have some expanded information here. And it also shows here are the versions that are going to include these different these books. Okay, so sometimes you're trying to find I'm trying to find First Maccabees, but which version of Bible works has that? Mm. So you go down through here. Here's First Maccabees, and these are all of the different versions that are going to include First Maccabees. Okay, so then you can choose whichever ones you want. Okay, awesome. And then as you come down further. Um, Okay, Apostolic Fathers are also included in here too. It's some of the abbreviations there for the Apostolic Fathers. Old Testament Pseudepigrapha. These are the lots of other abbreviations here for those different books. So you can see what's included there and what the abbreviations are for those. And uh, we have Rodkinson's uh, uh, Mishnah. So those are abbreviations for those books. So uh, then we also have a New Testament Apocrypha. So there are James New Testament Apocrypha and Hone as well. So. Okay, so your help file is, is very useful for those things. So you want to pay attention to, to that when you have questions concerning those things. Okay. There's a tremendous amount of content here. So mm -hmm. it just it just takes a little bit. Don't get overwhelmed by it. You know, I, <laughs> I'm giving you a lot of information here now. Um, but just take a little bit, use what you need. You're not going to remember it all, but next time you need it, you know where to go for it. It's like, okay, I really need to find now, you know, one of these other other books. Now, where do I go to find the abbreviations? Go to the help file, right there it is. And you can find what you need, and you can use that. So, let's say you found First Clement, and so you know what its abbreviation is. How would you get there? Would you just escape back to the well, search window? Well, the first thing you have to do, since uh, None of the Greek or none of the uh, Bible texts are going to have First Clement in it, because that's a New Testament apocrypha. I'm sorry, uh, Apostolic Fathers. Okay, so you have to have a version that has it. As a, by analogy, when I go to my bookshelf to pull a book off the shelf, I'm not going to pull a, um, um, let's say, a New American Standard Bible off the shelf and expect to find First Clement. It's just not going to be there. Right. But I'm going to go there. And I'm going to pull an Apostolic Fathers book off right. the shelf. So the first thing I have to do is to have a, a Bible text as my search version that's going to contain First Clement. Okay. So what I'm going to want to do, since I don't know that offhand, I'm going to go to Bible's Help Contents, 
Well, I do do it offhand, but. <laughs> okay. Okay, so then I'm going to go to um, Bible version abbreviations, and let's see, it's not a Greek New Testament. Not a manuscript, so two, ah, other Greek text. Okay, Apostolic Fathers. So APF is going to be a version for the Apostolic Fathers. Okay, you also have Lake, also the Apostolic Fathers, Lake edition. So those are a couple there uh, that you could that you could choose. So we'll do we we'll do APF. Um, now that's going to be a Greek text. Now if we want an English, after the English, and here here's one APE. That's also Apostolic Fathers. Okay, because these are this is an English text. They have English translations of it also. The other is a Greek text. So you have APF and you have APE. We try to keep them pretty similar. Uh, we'll get to morphology, so APM is a morphology text. Okay, so so now I know the abbreviations. Now you can you can choose some of these things just by going down here and choosing, say, English, and I can go to APE and select it. Wow. That's one way to do it. And when I select a browse window, okay, nice. notice here, my search version is ESV. When I go to select it, okay, I go to English and APE. Now notice that APE, Apostolic Fathers, appears here, and my search version over here is now APE. Yeah. Whenever I select a display version using the browse window, it also changes the search version. Okay, keep that in mind. We're going to talk about that in just a little bit. Now, if I went first, Clement, well, actually, that's the first book in Apostolic Fathers. So. But you can see the other books that are here. And you can see all the different ones. So if I, if I instead of wanting a nation to the trillions, there you go, just like that. So. But you can also, like First Clement, now that, now that we are in the APE, I can go 1CL, because I saw that abbreviation there. You have your abbreviations listed right here, 1CL. So 1CL, space 1, space 1, and there it is. Now that's back to first time. And your searches work the same way. If I double click on the word church, and I have all hits only in Apostolic, Apostolic Fathers. Interesting. So it's specific to whatever your book is. So it's really by analogy with your printed books, you're only going to find the information in that printed book that's actually contained in the printed book. Uh, just because it sits in a shelf next to Greek New Testament doesn't mean I'm going to find Greek New Testament references there. It doesn't work that way. So, and it's the same way within a computer program. You only find the data in that database. Okay, so now I'm going to clear the command line. I'm just going to hit escape. And let's go back to, let's go to the ESV. Notice that the only thing showing in the, in the browse window is the APE. Okay, that's a total different set of content than the, uh, than the Bible text. So I'm going to hit enter now in ESV. And now I have, but right, they didn't show you how to do that yet, did I? That's one way to change versions. Okay, I have ESV. Okay, let's say I want the Net Bible as my search version. Well, right now, the ESV is my search version. I'm going to type on the command line, NET, and hit Enter. The Net Bible is now my search version. I don't know about that. So now any search I conduct on the command line is going to be in the Net Bible, not the ESV. If you just type there in the command line um, a, an abbreviation like NRS, so we know that that's the New Revised Standard Version. So I can hit Enter, and that changes my search version. But if I, if I type um, GEN11 and hit enter, that changes the book name. So both those things can be done in the command line. That's because I don't have any version called GEN. I don't have any, any, a book name called 1CO, now for Corinthians. They're going to be separate and distinct. But I also have no book names that are called APE, Apostolic Fathers English. Okay, so the program is smart enough to know, oh, that's a, that's a book or that is a version, you know, things like that. If I want to remove versions, like say I now have, I have too many versions here. I have been adding lots of different versions. How do I get rid of these things? Well, I can go through here, I can right click, say I don't want the New Revised Standard anymore. I can right click and I can say remove this version from display list. Well, after I've added 30 versions, I don't want to sit there, remove, 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 remove. There is a way to do that much, much easier and faster. I'm going to go to the command line, and I'm going to use a, a command. It's called display clear. Okay. Or let's go shorter than that, because we like things to be a little faster. It's D space C, display clear, and hit enter. The only version left is my search version. 
You always have to have a search version. And it's always going to be in the browse window as well. It's kind of like clearing your desk after a while. You put a whole bunch of books in your desk and you just want to clear them and put them back on the shelf. Well, that's what we've done here. We put these, these versions back on the shelf. And now we can start over again, bringing out lots of different, lots more books out for a study. Good. Okay. Everybody understand how I did that? Okay. So, now let's add, let's add a few more versions. Now, I'm going to keep the NRS as my search version, but if I go here on this drop-down box and I add in extra versions, like let's add the KJB, well, now it just changed my, my search version. Well, that's not what I wanted to do. Right. I wanted to do NRS to be my search, my search version. Yet. We're going to need that a little bit. So I'm going to go back here and I'm going to double-click on NRS. That changed it to my search version. Okay, but every time I add a version using this drop-down, it's going to change my search version. So I don't want to do that. Let's go to the command line. I'm going to type D once again for display and a space. So instead of putting display clear, I am going to display versions. So here let's put in the BGT, which is a Bibleworks Greek text that has a Septuagint and the New Testament. And I'm going to put in here my Hebrew text, the WTT, it's the Westminster uh, Hebrew text. And now the Allen Groves, that's the Leningrad Codex is what that is. And let's put in here the uh, Net Bible. And let's put the ESV. And let's hit enter. And now they're all there. And my search version remains the NRS. How do we get the version we want or get them in the right order? We'll get to that. Okay. Yes, ordering is, ordering is coming. Yeah, ordering is coming. <laughs>